Well, uh, actually, it was so amazing and even very much historical, a momentous event. Imagine a carried spirit cooperatives coming from different countries of the ASEAN, coming together for the past three days. They arrived January 15, and then we had this opening ceremonies where no less than seven embassies were represented. I guess three ambassadors came to join and we opened up an exhibit uh, showcasing the products of our cooperatives from different parts of Asia. Uh, it was so amazing because uh, this was even uh, put in the mainstream media that it seems unbelievable but the cooperatives are really producing high quality products that can be a subject of inter-trading among cooperatives because they are producing what are essentials, what are healthy and, and orga organic at that, and that these are uh, in the market. And this is our strong message. If you buy the products of the cooperatives, you support the livelihood of the poor and the vulnerable, creating more jobs and eradicating poverty. That is so amazing. And then, uh, after that opening of exhibits, there uh, was this opening program where we have no less than our uh, Secretary of the Cabinet, uh, represented by no less than the Assistant Secretary, ASEC, John Roby Otero, and uh, showing to one and all the importance of equity and uh, sustainable development and to eradicate poverty, to create more employment, which is the essence of the BIA ng Pagbabago as uh, advanced by the present dispensation. This is now the real road to social transformation because as they say, for those who have dreamed of it, social change has been so elusive all these years despite 21 years of martial law and to people power revolution the structure and the system that are breeding poverty are still as formidable as ever but not anymore under the present dispensation why because through cooperativism we can now effect social transformation that would really create more jobs eradicate poverty advance social justice and uh, social equity and we can see that the cooperatives are putting those in the margins into the mainstream of development processes and we had no less than uh, under secretary Ariel Kayanan representing the office of the president and the office of the uh, department of agriculture uh, secretary Pinol and he was so amazing in his uh, message is stating that cooperative, uh, cooperative development as well as agricultural development uh, in coordination with the DA, in coordination with the DAR are now becoming the leading edge in uh, strengthening or empowering our marginalized sectors of farmers, fisher folks, even the women and indigenous people so that they become important players in uh, development, especially in the globalized setup as uh, pursued by the ASEAN. And also we have listened to the presentation of uh, every country in their papers and it is so amazing that we have now about 500,000 uh, cooperatives and associations of the farmers, of the indigenous people, of the fisher folks, and women and all those in the rural areas because we we can see their presentation they are living in resource rich areas question why is it that despite all of this remarkable economic development there are still 560 million who are living below the poverty line and so they're saying not anymore this time because through the cooperatives, they are now being liberated from the quagmire of poverty. It's so amazing, the report of every country. 
And then we had these uh, papers presented uh, in the regional setting where we have listened to the presentation of the uh, different agencies of government. We have listened to the uh, Department of Trade and Industry. We have listened to the uh, Office of the Transport Cooperatives as presented by Mr. Eugene Pabualan and all others. And we have seen that even the POV modernization program can be done through linkages and uh, building connectivity with uh, Brunei, for example, who can sell us petroleum products at a much lower price because it will be done the co the cooperative uh, intertrading. And even on rice, uh, we have learned that Vietnam and Thailand are producing it through sustainable agriculture at a much lower price. And we can even come up with an intertrading with them because they have shifted to sustainable agriculture and they are just producing their rice per kilo that would just be amount to, uh, amounting to only about 6 to 8 pesos per kilo uh, of course of production. And so it's amazing that we are now at this level and that after that there was this uh, agreements, forts between cooperatives, the uh, APSDC and NATCO on the Kaya platform that they are now into uh, using IT in promoting their products like for example the eco op trade so you want to know more about the products of the cooperative open that uh, website eco op trade you can see there the amazing uh, high quality production of the cooperatives and then after that we have this uh, east gate uh, entering into agreement with buparco the bokidon pharmaceutical cooperative and they are saying that there are a lot of medicine that can be used by the ASEAN and that these are cheaper, direct uh, buying uh, and everything that would promote the health of the people and so many things. And then uh, on the last day, we had this roadmap uh, corrupted and we're saying the real roadmap for uh, sustainable development in the ASEAN where we can advance the interests of the poor and the vulnerable through their cooperatives and the ASEAN and then the Association of the Farmers um, or the APA uh, Farmers Association in, in, the, in the ASEAN. Uh, so amazing the roadmap that had been crafted so that in the next uh, years uh, the future scenario will now uh, propagate the real essence of inclusive growth that in fact no one shall be left behind and it is really prosperity for all but we must follow the real essence of cooperativism which is members owned meaning to say the owners are the members themselves and so there will be democratization of wealth second is it is value based meaning to say there is this honesty, integrity, transparency, democracy, participation of the people, of those in the margins of development, because we believe that unless the people participate, all the outpourings of development assistance will be for note and will have no meaning. Participation is very essential. That is the value of the cooperatives. And finally, sustainability is the call of the times. Because if we continue on using destructive technologies, if we will not debunk destructive technologies, then they say that we will not reach the 22nd century, which is only 82 years from now. Why? Because of two unsustainability. Unsustainability in ecology, global warming, uh, extinction of the species, melting of the icebergs, rising of the ocean. That's terrible. For every one Celsius increase in global temperature, there will be a corresponding 10% reduction in food. And so famine might be the order of the day. And even as there is global warming, for every increase in temperature, the bites of the mosquitoes are becoming rabid and fatal. And so again, would it be famine, pestilence, uh, war, and what have you, the, as stated in the John Revelation, that should never happen. And this time, ladies and gentlemen, because of this gathering, 
the meeting of some 150 delegates from all over uh, Asia. But these are not just 150 because they are representing some 500 cooperatives of the farmers, of the fisher folks, of the IPs, of the women. And so, as if the ones meeting are the 500,000 cooperatives with some hundreds of millions of members. And so, from, for, for this time, let us listen to the issues, concerns, the voice of those uh, cooperatives who are representing those in the margins of development, the poor in Southeast Asia. Thank you so much and God bless.